U.S. President Barack Obama says the world is urgently watching for a meeting of the minds between the U.S. and China. Obama is in Beijing for talks with Chinese President Hu Jintao. Climate change, the economic recession, and nuclear proliferation are among the topics they are dealing with. The two leaders are likely to avoid thornier issues like trade and currency matters. China is the number one lender to Washington and is worried that the falling U.S. dollar threatens the value of its U.S. holdings. Obama was given a red carpet welcome at Beijing's airport by Vice President Xi Jinping. He had brief talks and a private dinner with Hu at the Diaoyu Thai State Guest House. Obama was greeted with a military ceremony at the Great Hall of the People today and has also been doing some sightseeing at Beijing's famous Forbidden City and the Wall. And before his arrival in Beijing, President Obama spent Monday in Shanghai hosting a town hall-style meeting with a select group of university students. Obama had several compliments for China, touting its scientific achievements, history, and astounding economic rise. But the president balanced the warm words with some prodding in more sensitive territory, including remarks on the need for Beijing to move toward a more consumer-driven economy and to improve human rights and freedoms for its people. Obama also touched on the need for unfettered access to internet information, a reference to the Chinese government's tight internet restrictions. Only local Shanghai TV carried the speech live, though it was streamed on two popular internet portals and on the White House website, which is not censored. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has visited the construction site of the USA Pavilion at the Shanghai World Expo grounds. Clinton promised her support for the American effort at the World's Fair next year. Clinton also made a special effort to mention some corporate sponsors, including Boeing, which has doubled its contribution to $2 million. Procter & Gamble has also announced it will provide financial support for the pavilion. U.S. officials announced in September that they had raised about two-thirds of the targeted $61 million needed to build and run the pavilion, which should be finished by the end of the year. Clinton says she looks forward to being in Shanghai next summer to see the pavilion. And rescue workers continue to pull bodies out of landslide in northern China. At least 23 people have been confirmed dead after 11 more bodies were pulled from the rubble in Shanxi province. Xinhua News says the massive landslide struck Chongyan County in Shanxi province late Monday morning. A government official says two people have been pulled out alive. Officials are still trying to determine exactly how many people are missing. Shanxi, along with much of northern China, has been hit by unseasonably early and heavy snow and bitterly cold weather over the past few days. China has distanced itself from proposals to delay a binding climate pact to 2010. A government spokesperson said the country might be willing to sign up to a political deal at climate talks scheduled for Copenhagen next month, but only if it includes strong commitments from rich nations. Experts said Beijing's plans to boost energy efficiency and curb emissions growth will also continue unabated, even if a setback in global negotiations slows the flow of foreign investment into carbon-cutting projects in China. December's Copenhagen summit hopes to put in place a new framework to tackle global warming, but talks have been hampered by bickering between developed and developing nations over who should do what. Police in eastern China have detained a football club manager as part of a massive crackdown on soccer betting. So far, several officials and executives from the football association have been implicated. The manager had worked for the Halifeng Football Club in Changteng Province. Halifeng came under the spotlight after a notorious match with the Sichuan club when the team's players tried scoring against their own goalkeeper. The Halifeng club has always been considered one of the best teams in the league, but it was mysteriously and routinely collapses in the second half of each season. And that's the BON headlines for now, but we'll be back with more news after this.